buddy, Lawman Mike with www.lawmanguitars.com. Hey, guess what I've got for you? I have another brand new built guitar. Just showed up in the shop a couple days ago. Uh, Tim brought it over, uh, Tim and, and uh, Bill brought it over and said, hey, we know how you like green guitars, Lawman. Look what we got for you. Well, I'll tell you what, I was not unhappy. This is a brand new 2019 SS Zaftig in olive drab green metallic. Now, the, the olive drab, I mean, I, I, you know, it, when I hear olive drab, I think it's going to be dull. Uh, this is definitely uh, army green, uh, but the, Tim put some gold flake in it. It's either gold or silver. I can't really tell. It's just really, really fine, and uh, it just gives a shimmer to this guitar that just kind of sits above it. I mean, it's just, it's a real deep, deep finish. Uh, that I was very, very impressed with. I just love how it uh, how it looks. And uh, of course they did the uh, headstock uh, treatment to it as well, uh, which is very distinctive for the uh, Zaftigs. Now uh, from there, uh, of course, they, they use the mastery uh, equipment on these guitars, which is just fantastic. I mean, they've got the, the mastery whammy on here. They've got the mastery bridge, uh, which these things, um, they developed them for jazz masters and jaguars. Uh, because as everyone knows, the uh, uh, bridges on those guitars are terrible. <laughs> they move, it's hard to hold them in, in uh, uh, intonation once you get it where you want it. They don't want to stay because they actually move. These things were made, uh, Mastery built these to replace those. And what's happened is everyone said, I want a Mastery bridge for my guitar. So anyway, they're, they're building these now, and I think this is probably a Jazz Master model, uh, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, they're made for uh, these guitars as well. They've, they've developed the guitar around this bridge. They like them so much. And uh, it's just, you know, from there, they've got the clues on tuners on it and uh, just very, very high-end appointments to this guitar. Um, now, from there, I want to talk about these pickups. Uh, they have, uh, they've got an association with Lawler, which I'm very happy that they do uh, because these Lawler pickups, I mean, if, if I was going to buy modern pickups, they would probably be Lawlers. I mean, they're just, they're outstanding pickups. I use a Lawler in my, uh, my Gibson uh, 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 flat top that, uh, that I absolutely love. And uh, for these guitars, uh, they've used several different types and each one has a little different uh, sonic uh, a sound to them, which are just really cool. Now this first one is uh, a dog ear gold foil. And, uh, you know, it, it's made to look a lot like the uh, Japanese guitar uh, uh, pickups of the day. Trust me, it doesn't sound like that. It's a fantastic uh, pickup, and uh, uh, it just, it really, really sounds deep and full, and I'll go through and play that for you here in just a minute. But then check out this back pickup. This thing is awesome. This is the Alnico Rod P90, uh, which uh, uh, has an Al Alnico uh, uh, magnets in it. But then what they did is they put a custom gold screen around it instead of just having plastic they put this gold screen around it it just looks really cool and with the gold foil in front I mean it, it looks like they're matched but not and then it's got of course the cool P90 uh, cover and then uh, Bill was telling me uh, that uh, he actually built this to uh, to go around this they had to make it uh, for this pickup because it was designed just to, to float in there and uh, they wanted it to sit up like the P90 did. So they did some incredible stuff with these pickups. Of course it's a uh, uh, hollow uh, and uh, very sonic. I mean uh, they use alder for these. It's got a nice round C neck, uh, nine and a half degree uh, a radius on the neck and uh, you know nice wire. I mean I think they use fender wire on it and uh, you know it just Gosh, they put so many great things in these guitars. I just absolutely love them. But anyway, enough of me talking. Let's hear how this guitar sounds. So oh, I love that whammy.
I want to go to the back pickup all by itself. I want you to hear this P90. pickup. Now, the middle position, they put them in a parallel, so it gives you almost an out of phase sound. I don't think it is out of phase, we we're talking about that, and uh, they said no, they think it's in series. Very chimey. sound. So it is not your standard blend of the front and back pickup. They did something in series to, uh, to give them a totally different sound. Wow, what a neat guitar. Now, again, it's brand new. Uh, you'll be the first owner of this guitar, and uh, uh, we are really excited to be a built dealer. The built guitars, if you're not familiar with them, they're built right here in Des Moines, Iowa. Two uh, luthiers uh, that uh, had, had worked in this uh, area for a really long time. I dealt with them uh, working on my guitars and then all of a sudden they started building guitars. And uh, if you haven't looked them up, uh, Google built guitars, uh, Imagine Dragons and, and all these great bands of names I, I don't know, but I'm sure you will if you look them up, uh, are playing these guitars. I saw one on uh, The Tonight Show the other night. Uh, uh, one of the bands was playing a built guitar. So the bands uh, love these guitars and what they do is uh, they'll also put effects in them for you. So I mean that's kind of their thing that they're doing for the uh, uh, rock stars. Uh, for uh, us guys who are just selling some built guitars, we don't have the effects in them, but I'll tell you what, they sure are some awesome guitars and I'm proud to be a built dealer. Now, how they ship these guitars, I just wanted to tell you they used to ship them in a standard uh, gig bag. Now what they're doing is they're shipping them in mono, uh, or I'm sorry, in a standard hard case, uh, which, you know, I'm not a big fan of, of the standard hard cases. I am a fan of these. This is the mono gig bag. Now I use a mono gig bag for my 1963 Gibson uh, J45, and uh, it protects my guitar better than any hard case. These things are incredible. If you don't know mono gig bags, also Google them. Uh, it's a very expensive bag, and uh, you know you can throw it over your shoulder. You can put your stuff in it. It's got pockets all over the place, and it protects the guitars really, 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 really well. So I'm real happy that they went to the the uh, uh, mono gig bag route. I think a lot of the uh, 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 our pro players told them the same thing. It's like, you know, we're not really using hard cases anymore. Uh, so you'll be happy to know you get a brand new mono gig bag, which I think these things sell for like 350 bucks. So you're getting an awesome bag. So you're getting a mono gig bag and you're getting a brand new 2019 built SS Zaf Vig in olive green metallic. So check it in all of our really cool guitars out at www.lawmanguitars.com where we only sell cool guitars. Thanks for watching this week.